I'd like to welcome you all to the meeting. I would like you to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and please stay standing for a moment of prayer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Or withholding the 
any such vote. Or withholding of any such vote. Congratulations. Legislator by Thomas Leone, Patricia Keir, please come. <coughs> and of re-elected legislators by Honorable, Honorable Mark Fandrick. Chris Petrus, would you please come up?
How you doing? and a re-elected legislator by Honorable Thomas Leone, <laughs> Aileen McNabb, <-Dammon. coughs> would you please come up?
swearing in of re-elected legislator Andy Dennison by Honorable Thomas Sion and Honorable Mark Cameron. <coughs> Andy Dennison. I didn't hear you. What are we doing? <laughs> Roll call. Oh, sorry. <laughs> ben Vitale. Here. Chris Petrus. Here. Paul Pinckney. Here. Aileen McNabb Coleman. Present. Keith Batman. Here. Hans Petcher. Here. Charlie Ripley. Present. Heidi Nightingale. Present. Elaine Daly. Here. Trisha Kerr. Here. Timothy Lattimore. Present. Michael Didio. Here. Ryan Foley. Present. Tucker Whitman. Here. I'd now like to call for nominations for legislative chairperson. Ben Vitale. I'd like to nominate Aileen McNabb Coleman. Second. Any other nominations? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Passed. Call for nominations for the legislative vice chair, Elaine Daly. Um, I'd like to nominate Ben Vitale. Second. Second. Second that nomination. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. 
Aye. Aye. Aye. <clears throat> Opposed? Two, right? Okay. Three. Cool. Okay, Patcher, Ripley, and Pigty. Well, Do you want to roll call vote? Roll call vote. Okay. <clears throat> Ben Vitale for Vice Chair. Andy Dennison? Yes. Ben Vitale? Yes. Chris Petrus? No. Paul Pinkty? No. Aileen McNabb Coleman? Yes. Keith Batman? Yes. Hans Petcher? No. Charlie Ripley? No. Heidi Nightingale? Yes. Elaine Daly? Yes. Trisha Keir? Yes. <clears throat> Timothy Lattimore? No. Michael Didio? No. Ryan Foley? Yes. Tucker Whitman? Yes. Passed. Passed. We'll change the she afterwards. But we can call you, we can call our last. So we do the board, we just call our last. Before we move ahead with further business in this meeting, I wanted to offer some words today. Um, I mostly want to share these words with the legislature. Um, and actually, before we get to that, I wanted to uh, thank my husband, Mark, and my boys here, Owen and Neil, for being present tonight. <clears throat> and my mother and my brother are here tonight, so I appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. Oh, and my sister Colleen is here. <laughs> and my brother Walker. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. Um, so the words I want to share with the legislature are focused less on content and more about process. Our legislative roles clearly go way beyond this dynamic. We have families, neighbors, friends, and constituents, and all are counting on us. <clears throat> we entered into public service for a variety of reasons. But most of all, we're here to leave this county in a better place than we found it. While reflecting on my role as a legislator, having completed my first term, I recently asked myself, am I adding value to the residents of Cuga County? Considering our recent collective behaviors, discussions, and decisions, are we, in concert with one another, are we adding value to the residents of Cuga County? I don't have your personal answer to that question. But I will share my answer. I can do better. We can do better. We must do better. This is a new decade, and we are at a crossroads in Cuga County. One thing I am sure of, I refuse to maintain the status quo or simply go through the motions. We don't have the luxury of time for political lines drawn in the sand. This county needs to move forward, and we must be unified to ensure our plans and goals be prioritized and achieved. The residents of this county deserve tangible, positive outcomes to quality and life improvements, such as providing the highest level of public safety, protecting our lakes, <coughs> upgrading our parks, enhancing our economy through business retention and attraction, improving service delivery for our vulnerable population, all the while protecting the wallets of our constituents. This task is immense. <clears throat> and our time here needs to be intentional. As your leader, you can count on me. You can count on me for effective communication. I will reach out. You will know exactly where we are and what's ahead. 
and I expect and welcome your feedback. Next, I will be here physically. I will be accountable to you, to the departments of this county, and to our residents. <clears throat> Looking ahead, tomorrow I'll be sending out a list of priorities to each of you to discuss this month in committees. That list will include some of what was left on the table from 2019, including salary adjustments for our non-bargaining employees and our response to the recent legislation affecting public safety. Please send me your priorities and feedback. At the conclusion of 2020, when we reflect on our added value to this county, we need to effectively articulate our contributions and demonstrate to our constituents not only did we do better, <coughs> we did our best. I am eager to get to work and be a productive, progressive legislature. Let's make this a year we can be proud of. Thank you again for this opportunity. I'm looking for a motion to adopt the rules of order for 2020. Move um, it. Legislator Ripley, second. Second. Oh, Legislator Whitman. <coughs> Any discussion? Legislator Daly. There was just one issue that I had noticed, um, and it might be just a housekeeping issue. I think there was discussion <coughs> at the committee meetings to remove reference to the nursing home and to long-term care as reporting up to the Health and Human Services Committee. And I think that was an oversight that that did not get um, removed. So that would be the only amendment that I would bring forward. I'll second that. I was gonna say, so that's a motion for an amendment and the second um, by Foley, Legislator Foley. Any discussion on the amendment? I'd just like some clarification, if I could. Yeah. Uh, it, in the rules of order, it talks about the departments that report up to their oversight committees, and there's still reference to Cuba County to the nursing home being oh, gotcha. uh, in the rules. And there's also reference to long-term care, which initially was to be a standalone organization. <coughs> Both of those issues actually could be removed. With, um, and I think they should have been, but with an oversight, they weren't. Thank you. Any other questions on the amendment? <coughs> All in favor of the Aye. amendment? Aye. Uh, opposite, anybody opposed? That's carried. Now we'll take a motion on, or I'll take a vote on the <coughs> as, as, amended. as amended. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Thank you. Okay, um, so we are next on our agenda is to discuss majority and minority representation in terms of caucus leaders. So we are in a different kind of a year this year in that there, it's not clear as we sit here among our attorney or the, the clerk, um, the designation of majority party uh, for this legislature. So at this time, we're gonna take a roll call um, and we're going to decide, according to weighted vote, who holds the majority party in the <coughs> county. Per our county attorney. Go ahead. 
Uh, so, ba so based on uh, voter registration at the at the moment, uh, there's two primary predominant political parties represented here. There's Republicans and Democrats. So I, I think the most appropriate method would be uh, to ask for uh, a yes vote if you are going to caucus or are a member of the Republican Party or the Democrat Party. We'll do each party individually and we'll be able to see the weighted vote that each party carries. And again, the rules of order state that to be the majority caucus with the majority leader, you must have more than a total majority of the entire legislature, not just the highest count. It's got to be a, a, a weighted vote in the whole body. So I, I guess uh, what we'd ask is that anybody who is a Democrat or caucusing with the Democrats, if you would vote yes when your name is called. Okay, this is for Democrat. So, <coughs> Okay, Andy Dennison. So what's the question? Are you a Democrat? Are you a Democrat or caucusing with the Democrats? We have some people that are, are registered as no party but may choose to caucus with either, and I'll, I'll pick on Mr. Petra for a minute. Uh, he's a registered conservative, uh, but he may choose to caucus with one party or the other. So uh, right now I'm asking who is caucusing with the Democrats. So we just say Democrats. our party, Republican. Is that what you're asking? No, I'm asking you to say yes if, you're, if you are a Democrat or are caucusing with the Democrats. No. Okay. Right. Okay. Ben Vitale? Yes. Chris Petrus? No. Paul Pickney? No. Ailey McNabb Cope? Oh, sorry, got to do you last. Keith okay. Batman? Yes. Hans Petcher? No. Charlie Ripley? No. <coughs> Heidi Nightingale? Yes. Elaine Daly? Yes. Trisha Keir? Yes. Timothy Lattimore? No. Michael Didio? No. Ryan Foley? Yes. Tucker Whitman? No. Aileen McDab Coleman? Yes. <coughs> Is that 418 votes? Yep. Yeah. Okay. The same for, for the Republicans and those caucusing with the Republicans. Okay. Republican. Andy Dennison? Yes. Ben Vitale? No. Chris Petrus? Yes. Paul Pickney? Yes. Aileen, oh, did it again. Keith Batman? No. no. Hans Patcher? Yes. Charlie Ripley? Yes. <clears throat> Heidi Nightingale? No. Elaine Daly? No. Trisha Keir? No. <coughs> Timothy Lattimore? I'm caucusing with the with the party of Lincoln. Yes. <laughs> Michael Didio? Yes. Ryan Foley? No. Tucker Whitman? No. Aileen McDab Cohen? No. Defeated. Defeated. That was 412. So, so, so in order to have a majority, part, majority party under our rules and a majority leader, uh, the, the party caucusing would need to exceed 442 weighted votes. <laughs> neither party represents that. Our rules also indicate that we can only have one minority party. Given that the Democrats carry the larger weighted vote by six weighted votes, they are the minority party. They will designate their own minority leader. There will be no majority leader. And there you have it. Sweet. Uh, call for an, an, an the majority is a minority. It is now. Say that again. <laughs> yeah. The majority is a minority. There's only 412 weighted right. votes that are right. caucusing as Republicans. That's not that's not a majority of this body. <laughs> and there are only 418 <coughs> weighted votes caucusing with the Democrats. And that's not a majority of this body. Our rules only allow for one minority party. That, I believe, caused some confusion in the past. So nominations for a minority leader? It's not to be voted on. Okay. No, it's the, 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 minor, the minority party will let the board know who their leader is going to be. Okay. Ms. Dipper? <laughs> do they have to sign the book? They can do it whenever they're designated. Okay. Good. 
Unless they're ready. Do the resolution. The, I, you could announce it. I don't, I don't know that there's a nomination and a vote. The full body doesn't vote on which, who is going to lead either party. They have to be sworn in, though, don't they? they have to be the swearing sworn in, in can be ha can happen anytime. It could happen after the designation. It could happen whenever the party announces. There could also be a motion for a caucus, and you could return with a name if you're so inclined. I'd like to make the announcement of Keith Batman as minority chair. Second. There's, there's no vote. So, Mr. Batman? No other announcements. We will um, get right to the resolutions. We have Ledge 1, reappointing the clerk of the Q County Legislative Board and setting salary. Move it. Second. Second. Any discussion on this? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. <coughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Agenda. Um, it calls for a 10 minute break for legislative photos. Oh. Oh. Wait, you got to swear in. How about the DA? Oh. Swear, swear, swear in Sue and John. Oh, thank you. It was not on my sheet. Okay. <laughs> you have the proper. <laughs> so sorry. Um, we're going to do the swearing in for Q County <coughs> Clerk and District Attorney by Honorable Mark Fandrich. Sue Dwyer swears. <laughs> Oh, I want to dump. Yeah, 
I, Susan Dwyer, do soundly swear, do soundly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of New York, and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties, that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of Cuban County Clerk, of the office of Cuban County Clerk, <coughs> to the best of my ability, so help me God. Congratulations. Okay. We'd like to call up John Budelman, District Attorney, and the Honorable Mark Vandrich will swear him in. Please repeat after this. I, John Budelman. I, John Budelman. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of New York. And the Constitution of the State of New York. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties. Of the Office of Cougar County District Attorney. Of the Office of Cougar County District Attorney. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. So uh, referencing the agenda, uh, it calls for a 10 minute break for legislative photos. I would like to, since I already gave a chairman report, um, I would like to skip that for now and go down to new or unfinished business that we may need to attend to. Anyone needs to bring to the table? Motion to adjourn. Second. The motion to adjourn a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? I didn't get to say charter. I'm, we're adjourned. You're right. <laughs> it's too early. It's too early in the year. <laughs>